hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tosin in today's tutorial I will show you how you can create a CBT examination without using Google form hope you're glad to hear that this is simple easy and straightforward okay you really love it I've discovered that there's um, another app that is better than Google form that you can use for your student examination quiz and whatever you want to do okay this one is better because you don't have to install any other application has for to set time limit this one comes with a time limit and everything is perfect here okay you will love it all right so just type forms app okay and install it let's wait for this okay i want to show us practical steps step by step but how to do this i think it will be better this way i love straightforward things and i think this one is straightforward and quite easy quite easy you get it so click on open now this is it Okay, so I'm just going to click on the email I want to make use of. And once you've done that, you see this? Then click on quizzes. Then this then quiz, new quiz. Alright, now title. So the title could be. Um, Okay, let's call it civic 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 education description tall term examination 2020 all right once i've done that and let me look at go to setting all right setting to change the theme you can change it to this whatever you want oh this is not too good mm. And make it something lighter. Okay. Can look at this. That's somewhat too bright. So let me go for something cool. Something cool. Something cool. Maybe this. Um, I think this is better. Then show logo. Okay. You add a logo. I've added this. So this is my logo. Like you can add your school logo. Then welcome page start all right details you want to collect before the students write the exam i want them to input their name and their email i don't need their number then duration this is what i'm talking about this one is way better than google form this one comes with the time so you can just make it 40 minutes or whatever maybe 40 minutes done allow multiple attempts no Show results after. Do you want to allow the user to view the, view the results? Um, nope. I want to send it to them after going through it myself. Show question. Show question number in the form. Yes, yes. All right. S submit. Okay. Submit. You can submit. Once you've done that, so the next thing is to start setting the question. Then click on multiple choice. Question one. No, I'm not attaching anything. So, the. Let me say, what is the capital of Nigeria? Option Lagos. Add option Calabar. Keep bad um, Abuja. Abuja. Now you come right here to select the correct answer. Click just mark or check the correct answer. So this is the correct answer. So once the student click on that, it will automatically mark itself. Okay. 
now if you want to add a flag to it like the green now maybe the green color in the nigeria flag symbolizes what you can also attach if you want to show an image like you're teaching biology you want to add image to it you want to add videos you can do that here you can if you want to add image you can just click on image and the the part label or the label you can just point out something and allow them to label it okay just snap it just the way you have any past questions snap that particular place and attach it and tell them to label it okay then you give the options there all right so once you've done that you've click on clicked on the answer you to add another question you click on this multiple choice question two add question who is the incumbent president of nigeria okay then add the options just don't mind me just want something very simple ali bo ari Wally, um, Nika. Okay, so if the Buari is the answer, I'm just gonna click on it, and the green button will show here. Yeah. Then, um, just leave it like that. Okay, that is done. Question two. So question two is set. That's how you continue doing it. And once you have done, then you can just click on submit. You can submit. You've created the quiz. And this is your link. You can forward it to the students and they can start doing the test. Isn't that simple? Just copy the link and post. Uh, sorry, paste the link where you want the students to do the test. Just give me a minute. Okay, so this is what this is how it appears at the student end. They have to type in their name, their email. So Tosin, email Toyom twelve, start quiz. So this is exactly what you have here. Okay, so very simple and straightforward.